Hello everyone, welcome to my Kim Corner. So in today's video, we're going to solve question number 11.19 from alcohols, phenols and ether. The question reads, write the mechanism of ethyl acid dehydration of ethanol to ethene. Very commonly asked questions in board exam. So let's see how to write the mechanism. First thing is, this is a conversion of an alcohol to alkene. Why is it called acid dehydration is because in the presence of an acid, the dehydration process is going to take place. So here, you need to have ethanol. This will react to form ethene in the presence of an acid. This is the entire reaction. Now let's see the mechanism for it. All right, let's see the mechanism. So in this step one is protonation of alcohol that's the very first step now what do we mean by protonation of alcohol the alcoholic group is going to accept a proton okay so i'm going to take here ch3 ch2 oh which is my reactant okay i'm going to show the lone test because that's going to react now this is going to have a double headed arrow and it's going to react with h plus now this particular reaction is a fast reaction now what happens in this case is the lone pairs are the free electrons on oxygen which will attack the positive center here. So it will bond to the hydrogen. Now when that happens, you will get CH3, CH2. This oxygen already had a, hyd had a hydrogen with it. In addition, you are having another hydrogen. Now because oxygen lone pairs are lost, oxygen will become a positive charge. So here, protonation of alcohol has taken place. Next is step 2. Now in this, this is going to be removal of water. Alright, so I am going to take this particular product that is formed in the first step. Okay. Now, if I break the bond here between carbon and oxygen, I can easily get a stable product which is water. But this process is going to be a slow process. Alright, so here we will put the arrow towards oxygen because oxygen needs to get its lone pair back. So here this is going to be CH3, CH2 with a positive charge and water is removed out. Alright, the last step here is removal of H+. plus. Now here what will happen is, I am just going to open up the entire molecule. Alright, it is just a little congested here. Okay, now in this case, here there is nothing, no further things to take place. So what happens is, you are going to uh, do something called as hyperconjugation. Now what happens to hyperconjugation? If the existing carbon does not have enough electron, it will pull the electrons from the adjacent carbon. So here the next carbon has three hydrogens which can be lost. So this will break and form a double bond. And the hydrogen can be lost easily. So here I will have CH2 with a double bond and a CH2 and a H plus is removed out. So if you notice here, in the first step a H plus is used up, in the last step the same H plus is coming out. So we can write this as an acid catalyzed dehydration of ethanol to ethene. Alright. 